door and someone in the toilet. Tada! Just do it tomorrow. Have I just decorated quite possibly the best Christmas tree in the world? Probably. Good morning, guys. It's Vlogmas day three. It's so early. It's 5:30, and I'm up. I mean, I'm up. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm awake-ish, and I have a 6:30. Legs, bums and tums class. I'm gonna get my legs, my bum and my tum out of bed. Made myself some coffee. And get ready. I also did legs the day before yesterday. So, my hammies are killing me right now. So I don't know whether a legs, bums and tums class is gonna be the most comfortable experience right now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh. Okay, let's go, let's go. Today, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> My hammies. <laughs> I've got a weird rash. I don't know what it's from, but it is so itchy. And good morning to you, lovely bathroom. How are you doing this morning? These are my two mirror options. They're very, very different size-wise. I don't know about this one. That is silver and everything in here is silver and I feel like I need to bring brass in here. So that's why I've got this one, which is brass, but it's a bit too big. Like, it would literally be, like, from here to literally, like, here. So it would take up all of this, and it would go to, like, there. And I don't know whether that's just way too overbearing, because I really, really like how this one would fit the perfect size. So I'm not sure. Have I mentioned how depressing it is walking to the gym at this time of morning? It is freezing <laughs> and it's actually really icy. It's really slippery. I'm quite scared I'm gonna fall over to be honest. My hamstrings are so unbelievably tight. I can barely walk and I don't usually go to this class. This is like a different class for me. Um, I've been to legs, bums and tums before, but the 631 is usually something else. But my PT is taking this class she's covering for someone because somebody's pregnant at the moment one of the pts so she's covering this class and basically if monica's doing a class i will go to that class it doesn't matter what the class is if she's doing a class i'll go she's one of the only ones that really really like targets the actual muscle group you're supposed to be doing like legs bums and tums is actually a legs bums and tums class and i've found other classes to just all be kind of pretty much the same and i know monica's style of training really 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 well now i've been training with her for like six months now um most days so um i know all of her exercises she does a lot of kind of dance elements in her classes so it's basically perfect for me like it's my ideal style of training so if she's doing a class it's kind of like a free PT session because she's just telling me what to do and I know how to do it properly these days which is basically why I go to PT still is for structure and to tell me what to do but once I know what I'm meant to be doing I know how to do it you know what I mean? I love going to the gym. I honestly never thought I'd be one of these people, but like I got a message from, a comment from one of you guys actually on yesterday's vlog, which I really love that um, these are like daily because I feel like I can get back to your comments like and actually go into some detail so I can just talk about it. How do you motivate yourself? in the mornings like really early in the morning to go to the gym honestly i just know where i've got time and i know that for me early mornings is a lot of time that i used to sit around watching vlogs take two hours to do my makeup every day so i just take some time out of my morning get up earlier and once you start training your body to wake up earlier it doesn't feel like you're waking up early it just feels like you're waking up this is an earlier morning 5 30 is a bit early for me but like 6 6 30 feels like my body wakes me up at that point even in the winter which is rare I find a routine that feels good and i stick to it and mine just happens to be early mornings and if it and it didn't feel good at the beginning it was hard at the beginning but 
now I've got into it. So if you're in a similar position to where I was, just, just set that alarm, get yourself out of bed. Don't wait for the summer. Don't wait for light warnings. Just do it tomorrow. And eventually it will start feeling really, really natural. That's all I've got to say, because my hand is about to freeze off because I'm just holding it, holding the camera. So I'll see you after my session. As expected, she killed me. That was good, I feel good. But walking up and down 10 flights of stairs to get to the gym, it's killer. And then you have to walk down after legs and it's really sore. But now, I get to reward myself with a chocolate hazelnut protein shake. You guys know that's my favorite. Walking home at sunrise. nice angle. I'm just putting my makeup on before I head up to London. My dad is actually on his way over which means one thing, some ish is gonna happen to the flat which is amazing. I think he's gonna come and hang some stuff for me, maybe put up the wallpaper, there's glue in my eyelashes. So that's very 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 exciting. My dad's amazing. He's so 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 hands-on and helpful like about as hands-on and helpful as you could possibly be which is incredible i think you guys know that half of the stuff that is amazing about the flat wouldn't be amazing if my dad hadn't basically organized the whole thing and he plays bad cop i play good cop otherwise i would get walked all over basically I'm a little bit too friendly. I struggle with confrontation with people I don't know. Luckily, the sun is coming out, which is amazing because I have not been in the mood to go up to London. Like, going up to London, it's so easy for me and I'm literally gonna wear like jeans and trainers. I'm not, normally when I'm like going for meetings or going up to London, I try and put in a bit of effort, but sorry, Paul, I am going to be wearing jeans and a hoodie probably. I'm really hungry as well. I need to make myself my breakfast. I'm feeling very like hibernate today. I've got a to-do list as long as my arm. Just a light beat. That'll have to do. She's still curly. This is literally like day five her. I'm riding out the greasy 80s. <laughs> Look. Just like that quick turnaround. I'm hoofing it down to London. But it is a beautiful day. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was the free free person in prep. Just oh. got my free coke. I think the boy fancied me. <laughs> free prep, free coke. I was gonna get you something, but then I was like, he didn't meet. Okay, no. you're all right. Um, I'm just about to have a meeting with my manager, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Paul's just run to the toilet, so I'm gonna show you what Charlotte Tilbury sent me while I wait. They sent me a lovely, lovely little box here. I'm very excited. Ooh. The magic cream, which is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this moisturizer. Great. Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask, which I actually haven't tried. I think I've got one of these at home, but I've not tried it yet. I've got a backup of Pillow Talk, which I'm glad about because mine actually melted. So that's really helpful. I've got, oh, it's a Pillow Talk as well. I've got a new Pillow Talk lip liner, which is my favorite lip liner and mine's actually run out. So I'm thrilled. I got, oh my God, is it both? Yes, I've been wanting to try these. I've got the Beauty Light Wand. It's the highlighter and the contour. So I will definitely be trying these out probably tomorrow. I'll probably put these on when I do my makeup in a vlog tomorrow and show you guys how it works because I've wanted to try these for so long. Super, super excited. Thank you very much, Charlotte Tilbury, for my 
lovely presents. And now Paul is coming back, perfect timing. And we're gonna continue our meeting now. Just a little shot at Tilbury Hall while you were here. Meeting done, I'm now just popping into some shops to get some stuff that I need for a video tomorrow that I need to film. So on to the next thing and then I'm heading home. Okay guys, we're in, we're home. I've got a big, very painful spot coming. Love that for me. Honestly, the trains were carnage because there was a fire next to a station on my route. So it was heaving, absolutely heaving. It took me quite a long time to get home, but it's fine. It's all good, I'm home. I'm home to Big Box from Rocket St. George, which I'm gonna open. Now I know exactly what it's in these big boxes. There's actually two big boxes. Another thing is my dad, my dad was supposed to be putting the wallpaper up in my bathroom today and I've come home and he hasn't. Which makes me think something's gone wrong or something is not possible. And he hasn't called me to tell me because I think he's scared I'll be upset. Which I will be. But it's not his fault. I'm upset about the situation. Could anyone else eat a whole punnet of grapes in a day? Because I do, often. Let me open this box, hang on. Oh, ta-da, hello. Leopard print dining room chairs, amazing. I've only ordered two, because um, on one side I'm gonna have a bench, one side I'm gonna have two leopard print chairs, and then on either end I'm gonna have two of a different color, just to mix things up a bit. These are so soft, that's so cool. Ta-da. got buble on and I'm gonna put up my Christmas tree. I'm not gonna decorate it, but I'm gonna put it up so it's out of my office and so it's in here and I can get a better like idea of the space I'm gonna be working with at the party. The tree's gonna go in this corner in between the two sofas. Wish me luck. Usually I have at least one other pair of hands helping me with this. I just wanna get it up so I can decorate it and have a nice evening rather than stressing out about it at a later date. I now want to decorate the tree, but do I wait for Tim? I feel like I should wait for Tim, but it's not, it's not his tree, it's my tree. Put on my tree sweatshirt, extra special and everything. He just declined my call. And we know what that means. Emma's decorating the tree on her own. This is so exciting. I was not expecting this today. We'll put the Ferris wheel on the top together. The top of my Christmas tree is a Ferris wheel. We'll put that up together, but I'm going to do the rest because he'll make it look weird anyway. If you hadn't noticed, I literally just chuck it on. My family Christmas tree growing up, we used to throw the baubles from across the room and whoever could get the most to stay basically won. <laughs>
was my favorite bauble. I'm really sad. <laughs> Christmassy la la la. Have I just decorated quite possibly the best Christmas tree in the world? Probably. I am gonna end this vlog here, you guys. I'm gonna do the rest of the Christmas decorations when the flat is uh, a little bit tidier. And I also wanna put the top on with Tim. I think next Christmas, I wanna have a Christmas tree in my office as well, a small one. That one's an eight footer. He's a big boy. And it's from Balsam Hill, Balsam Hill if any of you guys are wondering where my tree is from i do have a fake tree i invested in it last year because it wasn't cheap but it's huge it's such good quality and it will last me forever <laughs> like i don't know why i would ever need to buy a new christmas tree that is going to be the end of the vlog because it's oh my god it's 20 to 11. i need to go to bed i thought it was like nine i've been decorating that tree for so long i'm gonna go to bed thank you guys for watching i will see you guys tomorrow Good night.